I'm Tom Corrin. I was diagnosed in February of 2005 with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. I'm a double Z lung affected. That means that my uh, lungs aren't quite up to what they should be. In fact, they're t I test out about 40, 35 to 40 percent of uh, expected lung function. Um, I'm pretty much a typical, what I learned, it's a typical uh, alpha-1. It uh, took many doctors and many visits to the clinics to finally become diagnosed with alpha-1. I had noticed as I was getting older there, and, um, that I was getting short of breath, just going upstairs, walking up uh, slight inclines, and uh, it felt like something was wrong. And went to the doctor and complained. And, and uh, they said, well, you're just getting older, you're out of shape, that kind of thing. And went to a different doctor and he said about the same thing. And, you know, I, it seemed like it kept getting worse. But um, finally, I went to this uh, other general doctor, and, and she first sent me to a heart specialist. They ran all sorts of heart tests, you know, wondering if it was a blockage or something. And, well, all the heart tests were positive. And, uh, went back and she was going over the results from the heart doctors and stuff. And decided to hook up a oximeter to my finger. Well, that registered way low. And she knew to send me to a pulmonologist and uh, I went to pulmonologist there at Mercy Clinics and uh, got tested and the lung function was only 43%. They said, oh boy, you got COPD and severe, and severe lung damage, emphysema. We are going to run one test and that's rule out if you have alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency or, or not. And of course, the uh, test came back that I did have it. So I've been on augmentation and therapy since, and uh, uh, thank you.